Here, let's get let's get cocky and do stupid things. And that's why you don't do that. <laughs> I was trying to fly under it, by the way, but I fell a little too fast to stop my own fall. Still, getting cocky and doing stupid things seems fun. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, as you can you can you can probably sort of see why I like this world so much. It's it looks really cool, and it actually and it's actually it's pretty challenging, but not not being just horrible like World Seven. It's actually considerably easier easier than World Seven, as I've said many times already. But it's it's still hard, but in a very fun way. And another thing is that it feels it feels so cool. Like it's not like it's not like hey, I'm s I'm making my way through a bunch of stupid plants. It's actually like I'm fighting the armies of Bowser in a super metal fucking world with a lake of blood and tanks and shit. Hey, boom boom. This is actually the P wing is actually not so good for fighting boom boom. Generally, I found. Also, that noise is kind of annoying. Oh, look, the shortcut opened. I believe we're about to come up on the first actual level of this world. Oh, hey, look, it's dark here. Yeah, see? Ac world 8 1. We're just entering it. Oh, look at the leaves. That's interesting. I believe this whole world has just ba black backgrounds in the in the original, so it's kind of interesting to see what they did. Also, plants. Hey, hello. Despite all these plants, I don't think I don't think the hammer bros suit would be very good for this one because we actually have one spa have a spare one. We didn't use all of them in the last world. Shit. Uh, uh oh, ooh, uh, but no! Oh! Shit, Mario, you stupid dickhead. Uh, right. Get back, get Okay, fuck. Sorry, did I did I scream so loud? I I mean I know that happens. I do that a lot. I am Mumble Shout. <laughs> I make of my power is to make you turn up your volume. And then shout out your eardrops. That would probably be the superhero I would be. Uh, uh oh. Bika bika bu! You know what this what this game actually misses in terms of music? It misses a like a boss level music. Like in the original in the original Mario Bros. when you got to the fi like the final uh when you got to Bowser's Castle you would always get the like the <laughs> That tune. That's missing in this one. You just have the underground theme. Uh oh I know this. This quicksand doesn't actually drag you to your death. This leads to a secret cave. Heorically evil. Thank you. Thanks, 26. <coughs> I appreciate it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, uh oh. Oh shit! I came to the wrong neighborhood. Wee! There I go. And another one of my superpowers to improve my performance whenever I'm screaming or making stupid noises. <laughs> What's over here? This. Oh. 
that's pointless. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go to the fortress. Hey, this couple. I think this. I think this is the final fortress, isn't it? <coughs> oh shit! This is the maze. This is like the the This is the final maze. Brother John did a stream of this game, and he did it on an actual NES, and he and so somehow the game got horribly glitched out, and it was just hilarious. But he did this level, and it was the level was just melting. It was hilarious. Whoa. I don't think I've ever taken that path before. Uh, I guess only one way to go. Um, I'm stuck. Oh no, I'm not. I think. I think what I can do is eh, and get. No, that's not what I can do. Well, it's one thing I can do, but not a useful thing. I can do this. No, I can't. I'm sure I can do that. Eh. Or maybe all I can do is take suicide at this point. Commit honorable Sudoku. Oh no, I can actually do it without committing Sudoku. <coughs> In case I get back here as a small one. Actually. Actually. Power of respawn if you go through a door. All right, let's see what I do now. Uh, shit. But yeah, one of the funny things about that was, of course, that like everything was just spazzing and being weird and stuff. But the disco waffles were completely fine. The disco waffles were just normal, and it was. <laughs> Oh yeah, in this section, basically all the platforms had disappeared, and they were just gone. And like John was just floating in midair and asking where, where is the platform? Uh, oh shit! No, this is not the way to go. I need to. Ooh, this is gonna be hard. Uh. Can I get? Oh shit. That's a waste of an extra life. Uh please get up. Boo. Boo. I think I can make this. Uh <laughs> Uh oh. Oh god. Uh, where do I go? F Shit. Let's, uh. Oh, actually, I don't have a hammer bro suit anymore. I already was. What? Of the lava lake just being a lava lake and the other stuff you were in before not. The thing is, I can s I could swim in the lava lake, in the so-called lava lake. That's not lava if you can swim in it. I mean, Mario is a fairly tough guy, but not that tough. Like, Mario doesn't generally appreciate a dip into lava. Well, you know, blood is not that warm. It's, I mean. There are there are swimming there are swimming pools that are that are colder than that are uh, there are swimming pools that are warmer than blood. <laughs> By the way, are you only there? Yeah, well, this is lava, obviously. That's my point. Like this is lava, but the but where I was earlier, that was a lake of blood. Like, I'm not disputing if this is lava. Because it is. Uh. Okay, well. Hi.
But are you only there at the lava lake? Are you d that far behind? Because that's like 15 min. Sorry, the blood lake. Because that's like 15 minutes behind at this point. Bleh. I just want to know what this is. Oh, that's anticlimactic. Okay, careful for the disco waffles. Uh, I should have just gone for it. Right, okay, Swamp, you just continue being you. Shit. That's what I thought I'd find. Get in here. Get the thing. Yeah, exactly. It looks really different from the from the from the normal lava, which is another reason to believe that that is not lava. Uh, is it this one? Oh no, I I know how you do this. And indeed, like the lava, the blood leg also also looks different on the map. Uh, right, these don't move while you're in P mode. Boom boom. I don't think this is our final phase off yet. B Hold on, let's see if I can kill him with if I can kill him with fireballs, because I haven't done that yet. See? You can. It takes about five fireballs. But hammer bros, if you if you throw a hammer at him, you kill him in one in one shot, and it is the most satisfying feeling in the game. I think actually hammer bro the hammers can can even kill Bowser in one shot, but I'm not sure about that. Like that might I know they have an effect on him, unlike fireballs, which don't affect Bowser at all, I believe. Speaking of Bowser, this castle here, that's where he lives. We have one row of tanks to go through. And then it's time to kill the fuck out of Bowser. <laughs> also, look at that background. We're nearly there. Shit. Brave Comrade Mario, hero of the people, is storming the castle of wicked bourgeois King Bowser. And yes, that's definitely enough of Soviet Mario for now. Of whistling. Okay, and here we go, the final battle against Boom Boom. Boom Boom, my old friend, we go back a long way. How often have I killed you by now? And he's killed me thrice, I believe. No, twice. He's killed me twice. And it was embarrassing both times. <laughs> Alright. Time to storm Bowser's castle. Uh. Well, this is the raccoon suit is the best one we can still do. Hi, gamer Mick Mick, welcome to the stream. And I guess you are king. Do 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 lasers. And I'm just flying up. Ah, oh, I thought I might just fly up on my own strength, but I couldn't. Can I kill the flames with my tail? Probably not, but... Eh? No, I can't. Also, that seems a bad idea. In general. <laughs> Almost got killed by the disco waffles. Also, there was an interesting... In the original Mario 3, you would be able... I don't think you can do it here, but... you. 
could like do a duck jump into that space th up there, and then you glitch through the wall. Cut it short a bit. I like the Bowser portraits in the back, by the way. Uh, I don't think I will, Gamer Milk. But also, I'm going to have to ask you to quit that by no that now. It's been funny, but you know, enough is enough. Exactly, S twenty six S. Uh oh, uh oh. Shit. Uh, Cheshire Kitten, you don't have to say to 26 what he needs to do with his mod powers. But like, I, th I mean, it's fine if, like, if he continues, give him a, f give him a timeout. But if he stops, then that's fine. Uh, yeah, we can go in here. I think this is the way on. Go, go for, the, go for the lasers. Shit, shit, shit. That sucks. Let's see, what else have we got in our goodie bag? I mean, this could be fun. Let's give that a try. Bye, laser bowsers. Flying up on my own strength. Uh, I didn't really say anything to you. I I, I basically said that that I, that I prefer you not to not to tell Twenty Six what to do with his mod powers. But not not much else, honestly. One up. Get past the disco waffles. Ugh, almost got hit by one. And to the skies. Some lasers. Uh, Mouse twenty six is a friend of mine, and he's a mod here, so you know, listen to him when he says mod things, please. This is Bowser's room, by the way. Wow, Bowser has a high room. Anyway, hi Bowser. I'm Fleisman. That's interesting. I can actually fly high enough that he can't reach me. So the way you beat Bowser in this, if you have a hammer bar suit, you can just kill him. Hold on. Sorry. Just going to turn that noise off. <laughs> because that's annoying. Yeah, as you can see, he breaks these blocks, so obviously you have to try and make him do a stupid and make him fall in here. Or if you have a hammer or if you are a hammer bro. You can, uh, if you, shit. Ooh, this, I might lose this. There we go. Gamer Milk Mill, could you quit that? Uh. Stupid disco waffles. I guess we... What's this? An extra life? Oh, it's just a leaf. Already had that. That's annoying. That's a re... Those portraits of Bowser are really cool, by the way.
Oh dear, you continue trolling? Well, that's annoying. Big! Alright, let's see if I can get Bowser this time. Okay, um... Hold on. He's got, he's... It's hard to aim him properly, because he does things like that. I'm going to l try luring him off to the side so that it's easier to get him on the next jump. There we go. Ah, uh, you're... Uh, 26 is right, by the way. Uh, please don't... Sh please don't call people names, you know, even if they're... They are being kind of shitty. <laughs> well, you don't have to be polite, but I like to have a nice chat room, so... You know, just because someone is being a shithead doesn't mean you should call them names. Just give them a. Just give them a thing. Oh, you can be yourself. Just like if you yourself is not very nice, which I'm not saying that you are, then you know, doesn't mean I necessarily want you around. Well, I do want you around. Just. Don't want all the that I don't want name calling in a chat is all I'm saying. Bleh. Interesting. He, uh, he appears to have breathed a fireball while in midair. You know, this seems like a bad place to stand. I'm just going to lure him off site again. Woo. This seems a lot safer. Shit. Go get me, Fatso. <laughs> wow, that wasn't a, that was uh, an interesting jump. I should get out of this hole. <laughs> bye bye. I wonder how deep that was. You, you should be able to cal to calculate that from the time it took for him to fall. By the way, I won! Hello. Thank you. Wow, you talk slowly, Peach. Let's just wait for this to roll over. Thank you, but our princess is in another castle. Just kidding! Ha 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 ha! Bye, bye, bye. Why you say bye bye? Aren't you? Aren't you going with him? Why is she saying bye bye? I guess to me. Anyway. That was Mario, Mario 3, so World 1, Grasslands. It was indeed. World 2, Desert Hill. Didn't see that much hill. I mean, definitely desert. Also, I like Mario's kick there. World 3, Seaside. Mostly just sea. World 4, Big Island. <laughs> Nice name. World 5, the sky. Just the sky. 
Also, there are Goombas wearing shoes. World 6, Iced Land. Thanks, 26. World 7, Pipe Maze. More like Hell. World 8, Castle of Koopa. Hey, look, he's got a crown in this one. Anyway, that was fun. At least I had fun. Thanks, Dorovan. Push start. Okay. Uh, save and quit. Alright. Uh, let's see. I think that's the end of the screen. Actually, I'll, I'll show you. Well, I mean. I'll quickly show off the other games in this. Uh, in, Mar in Mario All Stars, it's just the other SNES game. So like, there's Mario One, obviously. Controls are def. Wow, I really feel the different. The controls are a lot different from Mario Three. Also, I like that this remix has a really loud bang at some point. Well, we already heard that it's like at the beginning. It's like. Do -do 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 -do. Anyway, I'm not playing through Mario 1, by the way, don't worry. Just... just World 1-1. One, one. Yeah, almost everyone played this one, of course. I, uh... Really, the first game you ever played. That's cool. I, uh... Speaking of, I can show off the, ga the first game I ever played, because I found a ROM of it earlier today. You know what? Maybe I do that, actually. I'll give that a go. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to give that a go. I'll be back in a few minutes when I've got it set up. One moment. I'll I'll keep you know what? I'll keep talking meanwhile. So yeah, the the first game I, so yeah, the, my first encounter with that with that game actually is uh with Mario with the original Mario Bros. was with my cousin who is ten years older than me, so he had an NES and and I and I would play it it has at his home sometimes. Well, whenever I was there, it, not that often because he because li he lived quite a long th way away. Uh, let's see, game capture. Oops, now you can't see anything. Hold on. Yes. Wow, that's beautiful. Center. Here we go. Okay, it's so this is a Game Boy game. This is the first. This is the very first game I ever played. I was five years old when I got it. The magic crystal has broken, and so inquisitive Smurf and Smurfette are teleported through time and all around the world. Okay. Sadly, they discover that the whole world suffers from pollution. S set, set, set off to find the 21 crystals in each area, and Smurf the world's rubbish in order to get back to the village. I'm not Smurfing anything of the world's rubbish. So this is the very first game I've ever played. It's called The Smurfs Travel the World. It's... I don't think it's that good, but... Let's just give it a go. So... Oh, whoops. Hold on. Okay, so accident I accidentally selected Africa and the male Smurf by pressing the, weird pr pressing the wrong buttons. So basically you go to the different continents, except Europe for some reason, and Antarctica. So yeah, this is the very first game I ever played. So, this is death if you walk off here. Oh, I'll show you of the fir Oh yeah, and you see that ap that apple core which is sitting around in a forest? You have to collect those because you are garbage man smurfs. So here's the very first obstacle I ever encountered in a in a game. Here's the problem. I can't jump enough to reach that high. But if I walk off this, I fall. What do I do? I'm 5 years old. I don't know. I can't do this. So I ask my father for help. And he points and he teaches me this MLG strategy. Sideways jumping. I didn't realize it was possible. <laughs> that's like my first memory of a video game. Oh yeah, that's a crystal, you have to collect those. And this is a bird. I you sit on it, I guess. Oh, whoops. Oh hey, there's a crocodile down there. Oh yeah, so I need to look for those crystals, by the way. 
Let me just... Bleh. Hi, Dad. <coughs> I think I lose all my crystals if I die too, so I basically restart the level entirely. Wow. Also, by the way, if you know anything of the Smurf, they're like 10 centimeters tall, I believe. So, look at the size of that monkey we just killed. That's one memory I definitely have of this game. I mean, look at this monkey. This is a, either a tiny monkey or a huge smurf. Also, all the animals are jerks. But yeah, the, the size of everything varies incredibly. You know what? I think this I think this game is probably worth it on stream. Like, just to have a laugh at it, I guess. And just a look back for me, of course. Because, like I said, first game I ever played. Also, you have a melee attack, you can kick. It's really bad. You generally don't want to be doing that. But yeah, you can stand next to enemies and kick their heads in. Trouble is, it usually leads to you dying. I don't want to die. Uh, here's a crocodile I can jump off. Which, by the way... Did I grow in size? Or is this a tiny, tiny crocodile? Also, this... That stupid monkey was killing the fuck out of me. And need to restart it. Wow. I got really bad at this game. Wow, you jerk. Also, most enemies take multiple hits to kill, which kind of annoying, honestly. I'm not sure what the garbage does anymore. I think it's just coins, so presu presumably you get an extra life if you get 100 of them. I do know the garbage has a different design in every world. So, yeah, there are six worlds. I would say continents, but one of them is the North Pole, so that doesn't work. <laughs> There's Africa, the North Pole, uh, well, every other world except, every other one except Europe and, and Antarctica. So, you know, North America, South America, Asia, Australia. And yeah, and along the way, shit. You fight a whole lot of creatures, which are curiously small, presumably. And you don't win by reaching the end of the level, I believe. You have to collect all crystals. Because, as we saw in the beginning, the magic crystal has been broken and then. Uh, whoops. Also, don't take leaps of faith in this game, as you can see. That's a bad idea. But yeah, at some point I believe you even encounter humans. Ooh, come to think of it, in hindsight that that might be racist. <laughs> Cause, but I remember they're ex they're extremely stereotypical Indians who who shoot at who shoot at you with bow and arrow and stuff like that. So I'm not sure. We'll presumably find that out when we get to North America. But yeah, so yeah, you actually you do actually fight humans at some point, and they're the same size as you. Also, actually, I think there's a level where Gargamel's cat is after you, and he's the normal, the, his proper size compared to his Smurf, which means he is like five times the size of a human or something, <laughs> in, according to this game. Whoops. Ah. Also, as you can see, there's a password because if you get to later worlds, you can, you don't, you don't get a safe, of course, you get a, you get a thing. Also, smurf the world! Which sounds offensive. Anyway, that's enough of a look at this. Now I might stream it sometime. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye bye. <laughs>